spoke to me. I was flying overseas. He said, read all the Psalms. And I'm like, all, like 150, 150 Psalms. So I read them, 150 Psalms. And then God said, well, you know, what'd you find out? I said, it was good. I mean, it's good. It was good. Well, what do you say? 150 Psalms. And God said this to me. Did you notice that when David was under attack, he didn't fight, he hid? And I said, that, I did notice that. Did you know that when David came under attack, the first thing he did was not fight. He hid himself in the Lord. And he got the heart and mind of what God wanted to do. And then he did what God told him to do. And you know, that's sort of a novel idea for many Christians because when there's a battle, they just want to jump in and fight. No, that's contrary to the word of God. In Psalm 27, this is what David says in verse 5. And I believe this is for us today. Hallelujah. And it's for our children and our children's children. And if you remember anything that I preach this weekend, it's this scripture, Psalm 27, verse 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And I believe that at this time in history, above any other time, we need this scripture. And we need to understand the keys that David had in his heart. Because he was a man after God's own heart. And there was something in the heart of David that caused him to cling to God in every circumstance. And that's what God wants us to do in, to, in good times, but also in the time of trouble. You know, when the time of trouble comes, the first thing you don't do is fight. See, a lot of people get in trouble because they just start fighting. And they don't have wisdom. They don't have